But you get to suffer through the loading screen with me. But yeah, this is the part. So basically, what you, I dealt with that level. And then we get here where we have to go find the professor. So we have to go through this open world-ish segment to go find the professor. And then we have to go through an open world-ish segment to find out, oh sorry, spoiler alert, where the professor has disappeared to. And then you have, then you get sent to an, a third open world segment where you have to, again, talk to the locals to discover where the professor may be gone to. And it's so fucking dumb. It's just all so fucking dumb. So that's why I quit. This is like, it is that comparison to Mario and Sonic again, where Mario just, you just get to play the next level. That's it. You get to play the next level. Sometimes what? they give you a choice Professor about Pickles which level that? you get to pick to go play. But other than that, hit. in this general, there's like a five up. second the, delay between beating yeah, the last level yeah, and getting to play the next level. Robots. Instead of like this, where I play the Professor fucking level, and then it gives me a Love goddamn Dana playing quick time segment level. It takes another 10 minutes or whatever. Sure like and then I gotta do 10 minutes of this open world exploring bullshit. And then I get to fucking finally play another goddamn level that may or may not be fun. I don't know yet. He's gotta be real hungry by now. And and if I was that hungry, uh, I don't know how long I would last. I'd rather be dead. That makes two of us. I said this is how is this effective characterization? Just this dude talking about food all the damn time. Hint, it's I, not. I'm sure Eggman is feeding him. Even he's not that cruel. Okay. <laughs> Why would Eggman Let's even have food? Find the professor. Everything he has is a fucking robot. I guess he gotta have food for himself, but I can't imagine Eggman is the sharing type. I wish I could remember <laughs> exactly which person I'm supposed to talk to to find out the information I need so I can goddamn well move on. Sonic! I'm just... It's none of these people though, it's somebody around this. So I'll start talking to people now. Also, look at this chick's proportions. I think it might, that, that, that's kind of, I think, I, oh yeah, there we go, it was a little girl. I was gonna say, that, that reminded me of something. I felt something. That was kind of bad. How about you go fuck yourself, little dude? Didn't even want to try to pass by you. I didn't want to go goddamn. Yes, let's go. I am always done here. I don't give a shit if there's some kind of side content here. I just want to go. I just want to play this game. That's it. So now, at this point, we are now getting into unexplored territory. Oh, that's right. Didn't it get to nighttime, too? So I'm a werehedgehog at this point? That's why. Because now I had the prospect of doing another werehedgehog level directly after this. Quad? This dude's name is Quad. He's named after a leg muscle. Granted, it's... You can't bitch at me about knowing what goddamn time it is when you are outside your home and exploring around. If you are inside your home and I'm a telemarketer calling you up, you can bitch at me all you want, but you are outside your damn home. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, so I need to find the strange building. Maybe I don't even need to do that. Maybe I just go here. You're just fucking hoping. Yeah, do I really have to do a were hedgehog level? I mean, at least we're, we've gotten a new territory, so it won't just be like, hey, I've done all of this already, but. But it's a were hedgehog level. <laughs> like, you can't throw me through a boring ass were hedgehog level, followed by a boring ass quick time event plane level, followed by another were hedgehog level. You can't do that to me. That's inhumane. There are constitutional rights that you have to comply with! Why are these dudes over here? Nice aim, dog. Could you? Could you? Could you? Thank you. Alright. Why did I 
did I even bother doing that? Was there a reason for that? So is this actually a level? This is- oh, great. You are such an asshole. So how are you even supposed to fucking do- whatever, dude. I don't even give a shit. Whatever. Fuck it. Just... Fuck it. Oh. I get to- oh, great. So I get to pull around blocks. Cause that's fucking fun. suffer through these. Why can't I just play good games that are difficult? Why did I have to say I'd play shitty games that are agonizing too? And why did I have to do Sonic? Why did I, why did I pick this game? I already played this fucking game. And I escaped from it. Unharmed. And you all didn't even get to see the, the pain and frustration because I, I apparently my subconscious deleted it as was appropriate. And then my dumbass decided nah. Oh, I just did that. Oh, that's one of my new moves. Is there like a move set? Do you, do you have that? Yep. Show Hogkin? Really? Really? Alright, so why, why, hey? That was quite possibly the lamest thing I've ever seen. Oh, and he has a belly smash afterwards. Okay. I thought that was one of them. I don't know why I'm bothering to look at this. That is YYXXX. He only did two moves afterwards. He didn't do three. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know why I'm looking, bothering to look at this shit. Like, I need these combos to actually succeed. I saw something. It doesn't matter because I trust my button mashing skills. Oh, that's a snuff. And they will get me out of the way. And lo and behold, I was right. Oh, and so I have to go find something. I'm assuming it's this skull. Or not. 
I thought I saw a skull around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, but it's not that. I have to grab this shit. Yo, like, if I wanted this kind of platforming, I would go play, like, a Legend of Zelda game, which are actually designed well. I've never actually liked Legend of Zelda before. Great, that I don't have that much of an experience with it. Like, I have tried... Skyward Sword? No, I didn't try Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is the Wii U one, right? So obviously I don't try that shit. Twilight Princess, that's the one that I tried, but the first time I tried it was, it was when, uh, it was the Wii version, like, they came out with a Wii version and a GameCube version. And I tried the Wii version, and the Wii version just, you know, shoehorn motion controls, just... I hate it. I hate motion controls. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want them in my games. I'm gonna fuck out. So that ruined that alone by itself for me. But then I did try the GameCube version. I, was, I didn't really feel that one much either, so. Sonic! that do me in the first probably a fucking yeah. Like, that's literally a half inch away. This dude has stretchy ass limbs, which you would think would give proper justification for being able to grab onto ledges, but nope. Not these. Because why would you want the games you play to make sense? That's a silly expectation, isn't it? That doesn't seem like that bridge is going to support this, but I'll trust you. Because trusting in the quality of the Sonic game always ends well, right? Right? This is so dull! God, like, I just want his. Uh... You know, it's the same exact thing. It's the same exact thing all over again. It's not this particular moment. This moment right here is not ruining it for me. Don't particularly care about the moment to moment shit. However, the knowledge that this is all I have to look forward to. That this is this is gonna be at least half the game that I fucking play. That was actually kinda badass. Half the this is gonna be half the game that I play. Is just no. It's not fucking worth it. I don't know why I'm still like pressing buttons and doing things, because I'm done. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm just, I cannot, I got to the spot where already I was done and it was just frustrating and boring and dull, and all that followed it was more frustration and boringness and dullness. Fuck this game. If there was a mo, if there was a mode that said, hey, you don't have to play a single one of the Were Hedgehog stages, I would play the shit out of this game and I would beat it. I would beat this goddamn game and I would probably enjoy myself doing it. But these levels and the open world nonsense where I have to find my fucking where I have to talk to people to tell me to go to the only exit in town which takes me to one fucking place and only one fucking place. And you th no, just no. I hope you guys learned your lesson with Sonic Boom. Because if it is more of the goddamn same, you did this in Sonic Adventure. I assume you did it in Sonic Adventure 2. I'm, you obviously did it in Sonic the Hedgehog. You did it in goddamn Sonic Unleashed. I'm sick of it. How did these terrible ass gameplay elements survive through at least four goddamn games, if not more? They suck. There's nothing good about them. And yet they have repeatedly been in every fucking game you make. God damn Sonic Team, wake the fuck up.